published, 531 EDT, the 11th of April 2018, updated, 1015 EDT, the 11th of April 2018 Britain faces nearly 60 flood alerts and warnings today after more than a third of a month's rain fell in some areas. The 53 alerts and six more serious warnings imposed by the Environment Agency across England follow torrential downpours yesterday in Yorkshire and the northeast in the morning, and the southwest in the afternoon. The most warnings, serious flood warnings for England today were in place for parts of the Piddle, Tarrant and Winterbourne Valleys in Dorset and areas of the Nene Valley around Northampton and Peterborough. Britain is still facing rain this morning, left, and there are 53 flood alerts, in orange, and six warnings, in red, in place, right. The current satellite image over the UK shows it is cloudy in the east, but some western and southern areas have blue sky yesterday. Heavy rain saw parts of West Yorkshire record 24 mm, 0.9 inches, in the 12 hours to 11 a.m., against an April average of 65 mm, 2.5 inches, in the north, meaning the area had more than a third of a month's worth in half a day. But the weather will bounce back with temperatures expected to soar by the weekend. Warm and bright conditions are expected in many areas and it's set to be hotter than the Greek islands. Britain will see maximum temperatures reach 66 F, 19 C, by Friday, 68 F, 20 C, on Saturday and hit 72 F, 22 C, on Sunday, the Met Office said. It compares with 68 F, 20 C, expected on Sunday on the Greek island of Kefalonia. The warmest UK temperature this year so far was 66.9 F, 19.4 C, in Kent last Saturday. Met Office forecaster Nicola Maxey said, We are likely to continue with unsettled weather over the coming days, with patches of rain. But changes on the way because easterly winds will change to southerly, bringing warmer air for the weekend and into next week. Miss Maxey said showers remained possible into Friday, but Saturday is likely to be dry. The highest temperatures are expected on Sunday, in the southeast, where the mercury could hit 72 F, 22 C. Birmingham and Manchester may reach 66 F, 19 C, if there are breaks in the cloud, she added. Today is likely to be rather dull and cold for most, the Met Office said though parts of the country in the south and west may experience some warm sunshine. Heavier rain is likely to move across central and eastern areas. Tomorrow, it is set to be cloudy with some rain before the warmer and drier air moves in. The muggy conditions have ridden in on winds from the east, but this will soon be replaced by softer gusts from the south which will allow warmth to break through. But, unfortunately for most, the best of the sunshine will not be arriving until the weekend is over. Met Office forecaster Sarah Kent said, There is a big change in both the weather and the wind direction from what we have got now to what we are seeing at the weekend. We have had this really gloomy easterly wind that has been bringing a lot of low cloud, mist, fogginess to many eastern parts yesterday and today and probably will do tomorrow. The Met Office is expecting temperatures in the sunshine to reach up to 66 F, 19 C, by this Friday as warm weather sweeps in the wind direction is shifting, so we lose this really cloudy, misty and murky easterly wind and by the time we get through to Saturday we have got quite light wind, but it is coming from a southerly direction across the country. It is not going to be wall-to-wall -wall sunshine at all, unfortunately. But it is going to be warmer because we have lost that cold wind. Scotland could see some bands of heavy rain on Saturday, while the rest of the UK will start off cloudy with a scattering of showers before the sun breaks through in the eastern, central, and southern areas of England. But Northern Ireland, Cornwall, and parts of western England will be hit by showers and colder winds. Breezes are expected to endure in western parts of the UK next week but the sun will triumph over the gloom elsewhere. It looks consistently sunny for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we could see temperatures touch on 20 C in places, Ms Kent said. Temperatures are expected to remain warm for the rest of the week, but low pressures lurking in the west threaten to bring showers back across the country.
This photographer must have let out a squeak of delight when he spotted some cute mice tiptoeing through the tulips. Miles Herbert, 52, captured the sweet snaps as the harvest mice played inside the colorful flowers for several minutes. Mr. Herbert, who took the pictures near his home in Bournemouth, said the mice were cute but destructive little critters. Miles Herbert, 52, captured the sweet snaps as the harvest mice played inside the colorful flowers for several minutes. Mr. Herbert, who took the pictures near his home in Bournemouth, said the mice were cute but destructive little critters. He said, It's always a pleasure watching these endearing little creatures as they go about their business. The mice love to eat the stamens and nectar from the flowers and enjoy climbing in and out of the tulips. Harvest mice are the smallest mammals in Europe that have a prehensile tail. The photographer said it is always a pleasure watching these endearing little creatures as they go about their business. Watching and photographing the mice is absolutely fascinating and only slightly addictive. According to the photographer they use this to help them hang on and balance when they climb or as an anchor when they are eating. Watching and photographing them is absolutely fascinating and only slightly addictive. Mr. Herbert runs photography workshops with his company, Captive Light Photography.